In today's video, we are going to use the case formula to essentially take a pick list to show not the API name, but ra rather the values on another object that's referencing this account pick list that we've created. So we have this account pick list uh, customer group, and what we've gone and we've changed the values. So we have the API name of one, two, three, and the values of retail distributor and dropship. So what we're gonna do now is we wanna see these values appear on our opportunity. So we're gonna to go to our object manager and we're gonna go and type an opportunity at the top, select opportunity, fields and relationships, and then we're gonna create a new field. We wanna reference this field that we just created on the account object. So we're gonna select formula. It's going to be a text field as the end result. And we just want it to be a customer uh, account, customer group. And we'll select next. So normally you would go and you'd find the, you'd go to opportunity account and then you'd reference the customer group. But because we've gone and uh, changed the, the, the values are different than the API name. When we reference uh, a field like this, it's going to show us the API name. And the API name of one, two, or three doesn't make much sense. But I'll, give, I'll show you what it'll look like. So we'll, because this is a pick list, we want text to appear. Uh, so we'll do the text formula. We'll check the syntax. We're all good. We'll click next. We want it visible to everyone, click next, and we'll have it on all page layouts. And we'll click save. So now let's go and see uh, what we've actually done. So we're just gonna quickly view all and we wanna do sales. So we'll go into uh, an opportunity that we have. Perfect, test. So we'll actually go to the ABC company that we've created, and we are going to change the customer group to retail, for example, and we'll click save real quick. So what we want is this value of retail to appear on the opportunity object referencing this field that's already created. So we're gonna go to our tests on the opportunities. We'll go to our details page. And you'll see when we go, and look at our account customer group. It does reference that field. However, it shows as 01 because that's the API name. Now the workaround to get this to show essentially not just the API name, but also the value that was on ABC uh, is to change the formula to using a case formula instead. So we'll go back to setup. We'll go to object manager. We'll click opportunity. We will go to our account customer group. And we'll change this formula. So if our API name and our values were the same, this formula right now as it stands would work. But because they're different, it's not gonna work. So we'll change this to case. So. Let's go over to case and see what we need. We need an expression. So it would be our customer group the, from the account that we're referencing. And then what I like to do is press enter to keep it spaced out. We will go and uh, essentially take what we found in the uh, other pick list. So what we what value it is, the API value, and what the results we want it to be. And why we're using brackets is because we're want referencing text, so we want text to appear. So we'll do O2, I think it was distributor, and then O3, oops, drop, ship. I don't think I had a dash. 
And that is essentially how we'd create it. And then, sorry, we forgot the one other thing was the else result. So we have our expression. So we were referencing this field, our value of 01, so the API name of 01, and what we want it to display would be retail, 02, distributor, 03, dropship. And if all else fails, what do we want it to display? We want it to say error. So that way, us as an admin can go in and look to see if we're missing a value. And we'll close the bracket. So we'll check the syntax to ensure that this is correct. No errors. We'll click save. And from here, we'll go back to our opportunity. We'll refresh. So you'll see 01. If we refresh this page, it should say retail. We'll go to the details first. You'll see retail there. So that's the way to get around when the customer, when a pick list value that you want to reference on another object, uh, values are different from the API name. Uh, so that's it for today. Uh, hopefully you've liked this video, so please like and subscribe. And if someone else has figured out another way in order to do what we've got accomplished today, feel free to include it in the comments below. Thanks. Have a great day.